Hello there and welcome to Mamarama. Um, today's show is uh, dedicated uh, almost entirely to poison ivy. That's what I'm going to talk about today because uh, just like when I did my episode on lice, it uh, was something that affected us directly. Um, so yes, I contracted uh, poison ivy this summer and uh, had a long and arduous battle with it and I'm here to um, help you out in a similar way because I learned some really astounding things about poison ivy, uh, its prevalence in the US and um, some things that uh, are total myths about poison ivy that everybody seems to believe for some reason, even uh, health practitioners. So um, let me get right to it. I, I just, I, I want to say that uh, in doing my research for this show, I spoke with a lot of people, including uh, doctors, um, a med school student, a couple of uh, nurse practitioners, and, um, and one uh, registered nurse. And uh, only the people who were um, associated with being the authorities on poison ivy uh, were the ones who gave the, ac the actual true answers. Um, so anyway, I mean, if you, so I, I'm saying that if you go to your doctor or a health practitioner and they're not giving you the same um, information I'm about to give you, don't be surprised. This is actually fairly common that, um, that people have uh, certain mis uh, perceptions and misconceptions about poison ivy. So let me just um, start out by saying a couple things which um, should appease you if you are uh, suffering with this right now. The first thing that, uh, that I think is really important to know about poison ivy is that the poison ivy rash itself is not contagious. So you're not going to spread it to anyone that you come into close contact with. The other thing that's really important to know about poison ivy is that you're not going to believe this, but you don't spread it around your body by scratching. This is something that everybody believes, even doctors will tell you that. And uh, I can understand why people think that because, uh, because poison ivy behaves in a particular way that really appears to be spreading around your body. And the best way to understand why that's not happening or how that is in fact happening um, because, because it will appear on other parts of your body is uh, basically to understand a little bit more about poison ivy and how it affects you. So um, I also want to say that I'm speaking about poison ivy but I'm also encompassing poison oak and poison sumac. Sorry, my cat is like right behind the camera and I am expecting him to knock it off its perch at any time. All right, so, so I'm speaking about poison ivy, but I'm speaking about all the poison, um, all the poison varieties. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you um, what they look like and how to identify them. There's the other surprising thing was, um, you know, uh, being in camp when I was a kid, I learned to identify poison ivy in a particular way. I think most people um, have an image of what poison ivy looks like. They, they like the three leaves, they're kind of pointed and shiny, sometimes a little bit red. And while that is the way poison ivy looks, it comes in a whole bunch of varieties that you may not recognize as poison ivy. The other interesting thing about poison ivy is because of global warming and more carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, we have more poison ivy than we've ever had before. And the poison or the toxin in the poison ivy is actually stronger than it used to be. So that's, you know, another thing to sort of take into account because it's, uh, you know, it's really all over the place. And, um, and it's pretty, uh, you know, pretty easy to uh, to contract. You know, whether you brush against it or what have you. So let me let me start out by talking about how it is that you don't spread the poison ivy around your body by scratching it, because this is really something that most people believe, and it seems to be true. Okay, so the first thing to know about poison ivy is that the toxin inside the leaves, the stems, and the roots. It's throughout, it's throughout the plant, is called urushiol. 
And it's the same thing in poison oak and poison sumac and any other poison varieties of these, of these types of plants. Urushiol is the thing that I think about 80, 85% of the population has an allergic reaction to. So that's most people really. And it gets on our skin, it's invisible, gets on our skin and bonds to the skin. And it takes about an hour for it to bond fully with the skin. Maybe a little bit longer, but let's just for argument's sake say it takes about an hour to bond. So what happens in that time is, um, and I also want to say that it bonds differently in different parts of your body. For example, the palms of your hand and the soles of your feet are, uh, have thicker skin. So sometimes if you happen to touch poison ivy, if you were gardening, you might not get it there, but you might, might turn up on the other side, or you might have spread it around your body um, within in the initial contact. So what happens is the urushiol gets on your skin, and before it actually bonds with your skin, that's your opportunity to be passing it around on your body. And I'll tell you, in my case, uh, two things could have happened because it appeared all over me. One is that the, um, the poison ivy leaves got into my car, and they got, they got cut off when I put my window up and they slid down the door, probably paused for a moment on the armrest and then were deposited, or possibly I brushed them off, I don't remember, because I didn't know it was poison ivy, so it wasn't something I really thought hard about. And then I, um, they ended up like, in the, um, like on the floor next to my seat. So what I believe happened was the, uh, the toxin left a deposit on my armrest where I I put my arm for an extended period of time. So this gave the uh, toxin a long time to seep into my skin. And boy, did it seep in. Um, I, I mean, I can show you what it looks like. This is like three weeks later. You can't really tell, but it looked so bad at the time that, um, and it covered like a large area, like about that much, that uh, people asked me if I, um, if I had a burn. So when your poison ivy looks not just like little red spots kind of erratic little you know dots of spots or little blisters like that when it looks dark red and leathery and looks like a burn that's when you know you have a severe case <laughs> so that's what i had um now let's just go by my example for a second the urushiol is in my car it's on an inanimate object and it's bonding with my skin in the in the minutes before it actually bonded fully, I might have spread it around by touching it. Maybe I touched my arm or then I kind of scratched my chin or who knows what. I mean, I, I, I got it in this area, but I got it in a lot of other places that I'm sure I didn't spread it to within that, you know, those first few minutes. Okay, so now once it's bonded with your skin after an hour, you cannot spread it around anymore. So that's what I just want you to understand. That's like one of the most important things about this. So why it appears in the days afterwards is because depending on the amount of urushiol that gets on you and depending on the part of your body, remember I said uh, your skin has different thicknesses in different parts of your body, it will show up at different time periods. So while it shows up, typically it shows up first at your point of contact. And then let's say I did happen to scratch my chin within that hour, it would show up a little bit later on my face. Okay, the other way that poison ivy appears to move around your body, and this is what I think throws a lot of people off, is when it becomes systemic. And I have every reason to believe that in my case, it became systemic. Systemic means that it's, it got into your skin so deeply that it moved into your bloodstream or into your lymphatic system, which means that now it's inside of you. And when you have breakouts, they're popping up on their own, not because the urushiol is on the surface and touched your skin, but because it's within you and it's causing a breakout.